All right, so in this video, I want to clear up a thing we talked about with the FAL instruction and the way the uh, lights work as far as the red light, green light, or yet red light, yellow light, and green light. Uh, the way they work in combination with each other is somebody brought up a good point and they just said, hey, you know, uh, generally speaking, you know, you don't quickly transition from uh, a red to a green. And that is exactly you know in real life yes that is true so uh, what we're doing if you notice over here um, on light one and I have it running you can t see that as as the lights change they're gonna stay red and then it's gonna go green so it gives that pause like it naturally would in real life now we didn't change any of the logic over here so much as as far as the ladder logic itself what we changed is the dimensions how far are the length that of what we're doing for the FAL instruction so we're still in incremental mode right so if we go and view this a little bit closer we're still in incremental mode and we're still looking at basically the same destination and the same position and stuff of that nature so again just like the last video um, but when it comes down to it what changed as I'll show you right here Oh, it's right here so what changed is our control word right so each one of these is going to be slightly different now uh, I did shrink this down so that you can see okay so in the first instance when we're calling basically zero we're gonna have red light we're gonna have uh, the, the red one uh, red light on number one on and we're gonna have the red light on number two on okay and the second one, what we're going to have is the red light off, red, uh, yellow light off, green light on for number one, and then red light on for green uh, for number two. And then coming into the next position, what we're going to have, and again, we're stepping down one, two, three, four, just just as we were before, right? So. Um, in this case we're going to turn on the yellow light on number one and then ha still have the red light on for uh, light two now and I have these labeled over here in the HMI system now that you can easily see them where they do correspond with light one and light two keep in mind this is the control section so uh, when I say control section this is the uh, section that the uh, if you looked at like we discussed right here if you look this is indirectly this um, instruction itself the position of the instruction is indirectly pointing to we uh, a different array inside of that traffic light control so with that said again that's what we're looking at right here is traffic light control right so it's pointing each time that uh, FAL instruction increments it's pointing at a different section in here either zero one two three four um, five and six right because we're indexing six times okay so just keep that in mind um, that is now uh, again the way it is working and so it's very 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 similar to exactly what we had before um, and again we're still using the single dent we're not using a uh, an array for our destination so therefore if we go to look at that and monitor that you can see that that value does change uh, the decimal value does change to correspond with the bits that need to be active right so you can see the bits that are currently being turned on and those do correspond with the lights right just like we did before um, and again I can kind of show you that like in this case this light would be a zero so this light would be right here and in this case right here this should be the like the very last one so this should be bit 5 so just keep that in mind you can actually see those incrementing now I've, I've turned off the you know I stopped playing the the actual screen at that time so you just to show you the editing side of things so you can see that that still does correspond with exactly what we had before uh, so just keep in mind and reference of the original video where we talked about the actual FAL instruction and how we did program that again because we are simulating the and basically traffic lights right so we're we're coming back and, and saying okay well 
how could you always improve it, right? You can always improve your programs. You can always improve the way systems work and to be more efficient. Now, again, I, I made that small change and I am actually incremented from, I believe it was four before to six now. Um, and that's because of we're adding two extra states in here that we need to actually do. So again, that would be holding the, the red, right? Like it is right here twice. So it would hold the red when it transitions from light one to light two and then vice versa from one to two. Uh, so just like that, that would be exactly how that is done and how easily that can be achieved with an FAL instruction. So hopefully you learned a lot from that video and we'll see you guys on the next one.